just to solidify everything because we talk about work and power and energy it all seems all very similar things we'll do one more problem on work and power so in part a they ask us for work work i'll remind you again is the amount of energy you're transferring and you can work it out by getting the parallel force times the displacement. In this case, the force is already horizontal and then he has a displacement which is also horizontal. So everything is already ready to be plugged in. In particular, they are concerned about the work output, so it's technically the magnitude, it's all the work you're doing pushing it back, so we're not going to worry about the sign too much. And that should be pretty straightforward, and you get 144 newton meter, which is a joule. B, power output. Again, power is how much work you do over how much time. Now, they don't tell us how much time a stroke is, but they tell us how much time it takes for a hundred and twenty strokes. So we have to do some conversion. So delta time here per every stroke, they're telling us it's equal to every one minute you're getting a hundred twenty strokes. But we want seconds because it's in joules per second. So we have to multiply by 60 seconds per minute. And it works out to be 0 0.5 seconds per stroke. If we take that and we go 144 joules, that's how much work to do per stroke over 0 0.5 seconds per stroke. The strokes cancel out and you'll get 288 joules per second, which is a watt. So that's your power output. Hopefully that solidifies a little bit the different words we've been using. Work has to do with the force you're applying to change the energy in the system. And power refers to how quickly that work gets done.